Martin Keegan here from Westlife on 2FM. It's our Westlife Takeover Day. And next up, we have a caller. Uh, so it's once again a random stranger time. Uh, random stranger from a random part of the world. Random stranger from... Well, it's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's a nice it's part a of the world. Note that now, I didn't say it wasn't oh, nice. Wait part. a minute now. Hold on a second. Are you trying to say that that's what I was insinuating? Oh, excuse me. Wait there. Uh, no, I actually love the part of the world this girl comes from. And her name is Kim. And she's I don't know, it's us. not a boy. We've just seen the name Kim. It could be a man called Kim. I think it's a girl. <laughs> Are you a girl or a boy, Kim? It's a girl. It's, oh, it's a, a girl. girl. I'm a girl. And Kim, can you tell the lovely <laughs> listeners of the Green Isles where you're calling from? I'm calling from Cape Town, South Africa. Cape Town, South Africa. Hey. Love it. Love it. Yes. you got the World Cup coming up there very soon. Sure. So, you know, <laughs> pretty much so. Yeah, I should. You know, you know so I coming in not the answer I was expecting, but you know, That's everyone has the right to be totally unaffected was, by the World Kim, Cup. Kim, I'm, I'm similar to yourself. I was asked earlier on by a sports journalist, who do I support? And I, you know, she obviously talking about soccer. Um, and I said, I supported my legs and my legs support me. And she looked at me as if I had 50 heads. Um, because obviously she, did, she didn't approve that I didn't support soccer. That's just soccer. a typical soccer person that can't believe that somebody might not actually be, you know, totally Interest. addicted to soccer. But, you know, that's just the way life goes. Kim, have you got a question that you would like to ask myself and Mark? Have you anything you would like to share with us? Yes, I do have a question. Um, my question is, um, if you guys were to retire, um, which place in the world would you like to retire to? Oh, Cape Town in South Africa. Mike, you just brought Kevin there recently, didn't you, on holidays? Well, we, were, we had a gig in, um, in Sun, Sun City. City, which is obviously also in South Africa, and um, I decided to take advantage. We had a week off, so we went out there a week early, so we had a nice time there, just really relaxing. Well, South Africa is kind of, it's got the rock and roll side to it, you know, it's not too kind of prim and proper, um, which I love. It's got a lot of culture. It's also got great weather. Um, it's got great nature. So I think it's definitely a good place to retire to, in fairness, you know. I mean, I haven't made my mind up yet. We love South Africa. We hope to get back there very soon, Kim. Sure. Thank you. I hope you do. I'll keep back in this class. Cool. Lovely talking to you, Kim. Take care of yourself now, okay? Here with Kian, we're half of Westlife, and we hope that you're having a wonderful day today. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Uh, let's move on with the show. And um, this next little section, we want to talk about. Um, well, Westlife are very famous for the stools, obviously, and we've been running a little competition. Uh, basically, we've got the ultimate prize for you to win all day today. Westlife Day on Two FM. We could have offered you a trip around the world, or a brand new car, or maybe a chance to have dinner with someone like, say, Louis Walsh or Jedward. <laughs> But no, a prize even better than that. It's something infamous with the history of Westlife. A genuine Westlife stool. Signed by us, Westlife. The members have all uh, done little doodles on the top of the stool. It's a very unique item. And all we want to know is basically the name of our very first hit single. Was it A? Swear it again. Was it B? Uptown Girl. Or C? What about now? Mail it with your name and details to westlife at rte.ie. We'll announce the winner with Colm and Jim Jim tomorrow morning here on 2FM. Uh, I, think so, that's a, I think that's a pretty easy question, isn't it? Well, you know, I always think, you know, you watch the TV programs and I think they kind of want you to, to make the answer easy. So I yeah. think we should just, you know, do that. Because we want people to... We want to give everybody a chance, I Exactly, suppose. yeah. Yeah. It's not rocket science, you know, our first single, I think it was March 1999. Was it March 1999 we released it in Ireland? April. Oh, no, you're right. Martin, yeah. Ireland, Martin Ireland, yeah. Ireland. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, enough of that old... That old winning a West Coast yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you, do you want to um, pick a song? Yeah, you know, like you're talking about nostalgic songs and, you know, going through the, the, the playlist, uh, every song I seem to mark out is a, is a personal favourite. They're all kind of taking me back to my childhood. Um, so for all the kind of rockers out there you're going to be hearing a lot of rock music in this show um, and one I've picked is um, this band have been going for a very very long time they're a fantastic rock band but um, in the last kind of few years they've made a new name for themselves they, they recorded an album called American Idiot and it's one of the best rock albums ever made but I'm going to take you back to their earlier albums um, and this song is off an album called Ducky and ladies and gentlemen this is Green Day and it's called Basket Case well it's Mark and Keen here from Westlife and yeah and we're coming, we're coming, time. we're kind of coming towards the end of our show, Mark. Yeah, and I'm kind of sad, but also kind of happy. <laughs> For no reason, really. It's just the you way just, I am no, right no, now. What it is is that you're sad that you're coming off the show, but you're happy in general. That it went well. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, been enjoyable. I think, I think, I was listening to, to Nikki and Shane this morning, and they were very hyper, they were very like, ah! 
think we've been a little bit more chilled out, a little bit more relaxed. See, this is like the drive time show, and they were like the morning time show, you know, so. Yeah. It's time for one more song before you bid you farewell this afternoon or this evening. Um, and this song is produced by Mark Ronson, and it was on his album called Version, um, and the vocal is by Lily Allen, who's one of my favourite sort of pop artists in the UK. And this song is called Oh My God. 2FM, we've had a great time today. Thank you very much for listening. Mark and Keen over and out. See ya.